the subtle from the gross. With great capacity, wisdom it ascends from earth to heaven. Again, it descends to earth and takes back the power of the above and the below. Thus, you will receive the glory of the distinctiveness of the world. All obscurity will flee from you. This is the whole most strong strength of all strength, for it overcomes all subtle things and penetrates all solid things. Thus was the world created. From this comes marvelous adaptations of which this is the procedure. Therefore I am called Hermes Thrice Crown because I have three parts of the wisdom of the whole world. And complete is what I have to say about the work of the sun. Now let's explain each verse in order to decipher the sacred teachings passed down by Hermes to the world. True, without falsehood, certain, most certain, may be thus comprehended. The venerable Emerald Tablet initiates its discourse by affirming the universal veracity of its teaching. Within its hallowed lines, it intimates the existence of manifold strata of truth, each echoing the unalterable verity of the cosmos. The tablet extends unto us a celestial key, an instrument of wisdom whereby we may gauge our comprehension of its sacrosanct pronouncements. Should our understanding falter at any juncture of our existential journey, thereby rendering the words of the tablet as discordant with our experiences, it is a clear summons to expand our perception and embrace a broader vista of understanding. What is above is like what is below, and what is below like that which is above, to make the miracle of the one thing is elucidated as follows. In this passage, the Emerald Tablet unveils the concept of the infinite continuum, a realm where the dichotomy of above and below merges into a singular, unbounded expanse. The above signifies not merely a direction, but a metaphysical plane from whence ascension is limitless, while the below encapsulates the foundational depth from which descension knows no bounds. This articulation of similarity between the celestial and the terrestrial realms establishes an eternal continuum, within which the only fixed point is the center, a nexus from which the infinite extends in all directions, encompassing all existences and non-existences within its embrace. The infinite continuum thus described transcends the mundane, positioning the self at the heart of all creation and interaction. It envisions a cosmos where the self embodying both the tangible and the ethereal, becomes the fulcrum of all relations, be it with the natural world, the spiritual domain, or the myriad facets of one's own being. In this continuum, miracles as we perceive them are but manifestations of the natural order, the unseen symphony of cosmic laws acting in harmony, rather than exceptions to these laws. This center, omnipresent in its essence, manifests within every entity, moment, and space, embodying the entirety of existence without exception. It is here, within this center, that the concept of the one thing takes form, a singularity encompassing all of creation, visible and invisible. This one, akin to the self, encompasses all that is and all that is not forming the most comprehensive and potent continuum conceivable. Such a continuum unites us with the entirety of creation, from the simplicity of a bird perched upon a bough to the complexity of our innermost selves, from the celestial dance of archangels to the earthly flow of a river. Every conceivable entity and concept finds its place within this infinite continuum. Within this framework, the notion of a miracle as an event outside the natural order dissolves. From the perspective of hermetic wisdom, what we perceive as miraculous merely reflects our limited understanding of the universal laws at play, not an exception to these laws. Hence, the Emerald Tablet's reference to the miracle of the one thing alludes to the realization that true wonderment lies not in the aberration of nature's laws, but in the harmonious expression of the infinite continuum in its entirety. Every action we undertake, every discovery we make within this boundless expanse, 
is but an exploration of the natural laws that govern the one thing. Thus, in the contemplation of the Emerald Tablet's profound statement, we are invited to perceive the unity and interconnectivity of all existence, recognizing that within the infinite continuum, the miraculous is not an anomaly, but the natural state of being, a testament to the unfathomable depth of the one thing that is all. And as all things were made from contemplation of one, so all things were born from one by adaptation. Having established the infinite continuum of self, the text now turns to a discussion of the production of life within this continuum. Hermes Trismegistus reveals that the concept of the One is illuminated as the all-encompassing mind, from which the multitudinous aspects of existence spring forth, conceived through the sacred act of contemplation. Within this majestic continuum of self, every entity emerges as a self-aware reflection of the One, the All-Mind, each mirroring the divine capability and adhering to the celestial methodologies of the One. It is thus revealed that akin to the one which brings forth creation through contemplation, these myriad expressions of the self are tasked with manifesting their desires through an analogous process, a harmonious adaptation of the original divine contemplation. It's a fact. In the new economy, it's never been easier to create a second income online. But how do they do it? According to the news, the whole world's falling apart. Well, that's the million dollar question. Now, if you're not interested in the million dollar answer, go ahead and skip to the end of this video, and I'm sorry for wasting your time. But if you do want to know more, keep watching, and in the next 60 seconds, I'm gonna teach you the fastest way that I've found to create a second income online. Hi, my name is Jeff Lerner, and I did not oh, become successful by following the traditional path. I didn't work 40 years for the man, didn't invent anything, definitely didn't inherit a trust fund or win the lottery, but I did take a massive shortcut. Since then, I've generated over $50 million in my online businesses, been on the Inc. 5000 twice, won a bunch of other awards, and most importantly, I've helped tens of thousands of other people take their own shortcut. Now, for the first time ever, I'm sharing everything that I've done to achieve these massive results in a simple book. And I'm not going to do this forever, but for right now, it is 100% free. No catch, no shipping cost, and no credit card required. I'll send this right to your email, and you can download it instantly. So click the link in this video right now. Go to my website and enter your email to download a copy of the book. You can be reading it in the next five minutes, and I promise it's gonna be the most powerful book that you've ever read on the subject of how average, ordinary people are creating a second income online. But how do they do it? And more importantly, how can an average person do it too? And that's exactly what you're gonna learn about in this book. So with that said, click the link or the button somewhere around this video, enter your email address, and I'll send you an email with your free copy right away. GoDaddy Arrow helps you get your business online in minutes with the power of AI. With the perfect name, great logo, and a beautiful website. Just start with a domain, a few clicks, and you're in business. Make now a feature at GoDaddy.com slash arrow. Its father is the sun, and its mother is the moon. The wind carried it in its womb, and the earth breastfed it. It is the father of all works of wonder in the world. 
The Emerald Tablet unveils the mystique of creation's adapted mechanism, employing the allegory of human procreation. Father, mother, womb, breastfeeding, simultaneously mirrored in the cosmological symbols of the sun, moon, wind, air, and earth. The father or son epitomizes the essence of force over form, luminosity against darkness, the element of fire contrasted with water, and the realm of thought over tangible matter. It stands as one polarity, inherently suggesting the presence of its counterpart, the mother or moon. This force, be it termed energy, creative intent, mind, or yod, incessantly aspires towards expression in form. In the Hermetic tradition, each unique vibrational frequency seeks to manifest through the immediate lower vibrational levels. Thus, every specific vibration is both a manifestation of the higher and a conduit for the lower vibration. The process of creation, as described in this portion of the Emerald Tablet, is an ethereal journey of force descending into form. The paternal seed yearns for the maternal egg. The sun's cadence is tethered to earth by the moon's rhythm. Individuality manifests through personality. The mental permeates the astral. Light only discerns itself by traversing darkness. Chokma merges into Bina. The moon or mother symbolizes the act of giving form, the relentless flow of energy cascading down the vibrational spectrum, manifesting increasingly tangible forms. It captures and transforms the sun's radiance, then mirrors it towards Earth, embracing the seed within its womb. This entity is the inaugural Heir of Yod, Bina redefined by Chokma's seed, transitioning from a dark, barren mother to a luminous, fertile one. Creation, at its core, is the mother's endeavor, as further illustrated by the subsequent maternal archetypes. In the hermetic analysis of elements, air emerges from the union of fire and water, symbolizing their synthesis. Serving as a mediator, air is born from their interplay. Their existence is mutual, for they manifest solely in unity. If fire represents ascent and water descent, air then embodies stillness, a balance between the two forces. Air, devoid of its own volition, readily assumes any force impressed upon it. Within the cryptic lore of the Emerald Tablet, such force is directed downwards, transforming air into wind, a conduit of unseen power, symbolizing both a force and its manifestation. This dynamic serves as a cosmic womb, nurturing the gestation of creation until its emergence into form, marking air as the vessel through which a celestial force descends to sculpt matter. In the esoteric language of the Kabbalah, this process is articulated through the interplay of Tiferet, emanating from the union of Chokma and Bina, cascading towards Malkut. It embodies the Vav of the Tetragrammaton, seeking earthly expression, culminating in the Her, the finality. This descent intertwines cosmic influences with our terrestrial journey, guided by the cycles of the sun and moon, embodying the adept's consciousness that manifests through the veneer of personality and the corporeal. Turning our gaze to Earth, the fourth element, we encounter a synthesis. Fire, water and air converge to form Earth, not merely in elemental theory, but as an archetypal truth. Earth stands apart, a distinct element, yet it is the culmination of an archetypal process. It is the archetype of form itself, where water's formative impulse becomes tangible in Earth, the ultimate canvas for the expression of force. Earth provides sustenance and solidity, giving form its independence and substance. Heavy, on my position. This manifestation is seen as Tiferet, adorned in Yesod, realized in Malchus, the final expression of the Tetragrammaton, the hair final. It is the personal self expressed within the confines of a physical existence. The quintessence of creation, embodied by these four elements, plus the conscious intent of the creator, gives rise to autonomous life. The Emerald Tablet encapsulates this alchemical journey, presenting it as a fatherly principle, a cyclical odyssey of self-realization, where the end is but the beginning. 
perpetual cycle of renewing and discovery. The Nessent Father is proclaimed to engender the myriad marvels within the cosmos. Here, a discerning separation is made between the marvels and the miraculous, suggesting that within the continuum, this progenitor adheres to the edicts of nature's law. Foremost in the schema of creation, as depicted on the ancient tablets, is the element of the Creator's deliberate cognizance. This essence, the fifth element, or the quintessence, pervades all, though its name remains unspoken. The manifestation of the superior through the inferior is deemed a natural order of things. However, it is the infusion of conscious intent that culminates in the begetting of the universal progenitor of all worldly marvels. So what is ClickUp? ClickUp is an all-in-one productivity software where you can manage everything and anything related to your work. Your documents, your chats, your whiteboards, your projects. The value of this, you don't have to buy five softwares to do this. You don't have to be hopping back and forth between multiple tabs trying to find that email from a year ago. Instead, you can find everything in a matter of seconds, keeping your work and everything related to productivity organized in a single place. Welcome back. That termicide's so effective, you can almost forget that it's 100% safe for all other living things. Mission coordinates locked. 